A new turn in the conflict between North Korea and the Western world as the U.S. sends a missile defense system to its base on Guam. The new development was announced Wednesday by the Pentagon and U.S. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel. As they have ratcheted up their bellicose, dangerous rhetoric and some of the actions they've taken over the last few weeks uh, present a, a, a real and clear danger. The advanced missile defense system is expected to be deployed in the coming weeks and comes after several unpleasant reports from North Korea. On Tuesday, Pyongyang announced plans to restart its nuclear reactor after five years of inactivity, fueling talk of potential nuclear threats. And earlier Wednesday, the Korean People's Army said that a strike plan against the U.S. has been, quote, examined and ratified, and that U.S. threats would be smashed by cutting-edge, smaller, lighter, and diversified nuclear strike means. Most observers emphasize that North Korea is years away from having the technology to deliver a nuclear warhead on a missile. But Chuck Hagel made it clear Wednesday he believes North Korea does have the missile delivery capacity to hit Guam only 2,000 miles away in the Pacific Ocean. The new threats are being labeled as the most substantial in recent history by several media outlets. According to CNBC, the stock market reacted to the Korean situation for the first time on Wednesday as analysts watched how the U.S. handles the tough diplomatic balancing act over the next 24 to 48 hours. Certainly the United it's, States want to be seen as very strong, but on the other hand, you might provoke further action uh, from North Korea. It, it is really tricky, and what they're trying to do is get inside the heads of the North Korean leadership. But not all analysts are convinced a missile attack is impending. A North Korea insider points out to Fox News that provocations are typical in the weeks leading up to April 15th, the birthday of North Korea's founder, Kim Il-sung. The most dangerous time will be sometime during our summer when our military exercises with South Korea conclude at the end of this month, when our state of readiness falls back to normal, when we're not looking. The missile defense system in Guam adds to the U.S. presence around North Korea. A series of stealth fighters and nuclear-capable B-52 bombers as well as two destroyers were all recently sent to South Korea. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a broader view.